Hi, this is Sunil and welcome to the video tutorial for the learning lad on C++ programming. So in the previous tutorial, we have learned, you know, what are the generic classes and also how to define a generic class and how to create an object from the generic class. And in that tutorial, we have, uh, you know, created that generic class with only one generic type. So in this tutorial, I'm going to teach you how to create a generic class with two or more generic types. All right let's get started so in this tutorial for the demonstration purpose we're gonna create a generic class which is gonna work on two generic types or you know two types of data that are gonna be uh, provided you know when we create an object of that class all right first we need to write the keyword template and then we need to write the less than and greater than symbol and here the type name or the class keyword I'm gonna use the class because you know we are creating a generic class and you know if I use this class you know it's gonna make some sense and then we need to specify the name for the generic type or you know the placeholder for the data type on which you know this class is gonna be working or you know the object of this class are gonna be working so let's say type 1 and then you know we're gonna create another type you know more than one type so i'm gonna use class again separated by comma and let's say type 2 all right then we need to define a class and it's similar to the definition or declaration of a class so the class keyword and then the class name let's say my class and then the class definition all right so here uh, in this class definition you can have a couple of private members and uh, let's say our first member is gonna be of type 1 so it's gonna be type 1 and then the uh, property or the member name let's say p1 and then we're gonna have another property you know which is gonna be of type uh, 2 and let's say p2 you know it can be of any type you know you know just for the demonstration purpose we are creating one from type 1 and another one from the type 2 and also in some uh, cases you know you need to create the members you know that are going to be of some specific type irrespective of what type of data you know this class is working on for example here let's say we need our integer variable and let's say counter all right you know it can be of any type you know just to demonstrate that we can create uh, member you know from standard data type here you know I just created it all right then we can have the public access specifier and then we're gonna have the constructor and the constructor is gonna have the same name as a class so it's gonna be my class and let's say this constructor is gonna take two parameters of type 1 and type 2 so I'm gonna write type 1 here and let's say x and type 2 and let's say y you know here you guys can use the same name as a p1 and p2 and and you guys can use the this pointer to refer to that but here you know just for the simplicity i'm creating or i'm using you know this x and y here what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna initialize our p1 with the value of x and make sure that the type matches you know type 1 type 1 and then p2 equal to y you know the type type 2 type 2 all right then we're gonna initialize our counter to a value of let's say 100 and then we're gonna have a method you know which is gonna print out the values stored in these members so let's call it as void what you got and I just gonna use a C out and it's gonna be I got p1 equal to and I'm gonna refer to p1 and I'm gonna insert and p2 equal to and I'm gonna refer p2 and again I'm gonna insert and counter is and then I just gonna refer counter and let's end this line all right now we have defined a generic class you know which is going to be working on more than one type of data okay let's make this one capital t 
you know we are using type 2 you know type 2 here so you know if you want to create a class definition or a generic class you know which is going to take more than two parameters or you know which is going to work on more than two types you guys can do that so here two type is enough for our demonstration purpose all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to create an object from this generic class my class all right first we need to write the class name you know which is my class and then you know we need to specify on what type of data you know this the object that we're gonna create from this my class is gonna be working on so this my class is working on two types of data and that's why we need to specify that here in between this less than and greater than symbol and let's say the first parameter or this type 1 is gonna be integer and the type 2 is gonna be let's say string you know it can be of any type you know it can be both strings or both ints or you know it can be int or string you know any type all right then we're gonna create the object and let's say ob1 you know the first object you know any name and here you know we need to pass two parameters to this constructor of the my class and you know the first parameter is going to be of type integer that's because you know this type 1 is referring to int and then the second parameter is going to be of type string you know this type 2 all right now i'm going to pass let's say 24 and comma and i'm going to pass a string value let's say anil all right then i'm going to create another object from this my class and it's going to be my class and less than and greater than symbol and let's say this time our object that we're going to create is going to be working on two floating point numbers so it's going to be float comma float and then uh, give a name ob2 you know any name and then we need to pass two floating point numbers 22.36 comma 66.241 you know any values all right the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to call the what you got meta from this object one and object two and that's why it's going to be ob1 dot what you got and then ob2 dot what you got all right now i'm going to save this and i'm going to build and run this and hopefully we don't have any error okay we have an error and um, and that is here we have used only one in the operator it should be two less than symbols you know to denote the stream insertion operator i don't know why the heck i am doing you know these kind of silly mistakes but you know mistakes are the mistakes so we can't do anything i'm gonna correct it and build and run this and this time we're gonna get all right I got p1 you know which is 24 and p2 equal to anil and the counter is 100 you know that's from this what you got meta from this object 1 and then I got p1 equal to 22.36 66.241 and the counter is 100 and that is from this what you got meta of this object 2 so this is how you guys can create a generic class with more than one generic type so thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you in the next tutorial